Good morning guys, today we will cover Bitcoin, Solana, Bozo and a few other things. Bitcoin first, no actually first coffee and then Bitcoin. Same information in a new format from Oldie Goldie Bitmex Research. And I said from the very start that the number that I'm focusing on is the trend in the grayscale outflows. And assuming these numbers are correct, you can see it very clearly here. Instead of accelerating, the outflows seem to be slowing down, while the inflows on this side are holding up really well. So if this is correct, we've now had three days in a row with a positive inflow. And if you look at the chart and recap, as you will recall if you're a long-term follower, what I suspected would happen, that I called scenario one, play out price pumped after the approval and the trading start but already on the 11th of january this looked very much like a headshot candle huge wick up to 49,000 that rejected back below resistance and sure enough the next day it proceeded to dump quite a lot and the dumping continued all the way down to 38,501. And then what happened was that price climbed back into this range. A very positive sign. I'd say very difficult to catch the exact top here, very difficult to catch the exact bottom. But here, after this candle had closed, you had some clues, guys. This was exactly scenario one, and I did talk about 40k support already then, where price climbed back and you had a decent 10-15% gap there. But that's a lot of analysis, a lot of hard work, a lot of hours looking at tables, sentiment, trying to figure out what's actually happening. Imagine if there was a simpler process. What would that be? Hmm. Well, unless you are colorblind between yellow and blue, which I don't think exists, you have it in front of you. Up here people were euphoric. I got a lot of cold emails from people asking should I buy now. Down here people were panicking, asking me questions should I sell now before it goes even lower. Did Larsen line change? No. Since the original trend changed from the downtrend of 2022 to the uptrend in 2023, after the six months of consolidation, which I call time capitulation, we're still on on the boat. Nothing has changed. If I should formulate an overall lesson from this video, it would be to have a plan and panic less. I'm not saying don't panic, because in investing and trading there is definitely times to panic. It's just that for Bitcoin, now wasn't one of them. Trading and investing isn't so much of an analytical game as it is an emotional game. And what could better illustrate that than what just happened on the Bozo chart? Oh my god guys, I don't know how many panic emails I've gotten. So let's start by checking some facts. So price is currently 0.024. 84 times 800,000 for a price of an NFT, about 20k. Those originally cost three dollars. So in percent, this one is now only up half a million percent. What a huge failure. Do you know any more failures that are up half a million percent? Then please let me know because at least I'm very interested. Okay, but that was at Mint. What was the price when I made the video? So here's the video. Let's check what was the price then. 0.003784. And what's it now then? Divided by 0.003784. So since the video, this is up 6x guys in like 4 days. What are you panicking or complaining about? What did I say? 0.003784. So 0.0037 that was here. And what I observed at the time was of course this very strong trend line and then this ascending triangle formation. I didn't say that in the video but of course I considered things like that before making it and I felt that here is actually really good risk reward especially if it breaks out. I think I did mention breakout in the video. Did break out and the target of an ascending triangle breakout is the height of the triangle. 
on the logarithmic chart that's pretty much exactly the target that met. Then price stopped here and consolidated, then it had another run up, a retest of this trend line and then came back pretty much to this level where it consolidated over here. But I understand that people find this difficult because there's at least three things here which are very unintuitive. The first one is the size of this move. This looks like a nice small comfortable uptrend, right? No, from here up to here. That's like 100,000% and it's not even all of it. They didn't have any reading where it started, I suppose. The second one is how short this time is. This is just one month, guys. So you can't come like three days later and assume that everything is going to be the same. No, these are meme coin time frames. One hour later, everything can be completely different. But maybe the most difficult thing to understand here is that this dip from here down here is minus 90%. And this coin is still in an uptrend. And I think that's very difficult to understand that something can dip 90% and still be in an uptrend. But if you look at it here, I think you see it clearly, right? And if we change from four hour to daily time frames, perhaps this becomes clearer and a little bit easier to see what is happening. This looks like a normal chart. This could be like a 10% increase in some stock over a couple of months. If you didn't see the vertical scale and knew the magnitude of the move and the horizontal scale seeing how short this time period is, this could be the chart of any stock on Nasdaq or Dow Jones or whatever. It's just that the numbers make this crazy and a couple of hours or one hour or even 15 minutes can be a massive time frame for these kinds of assets. You can't assume that time doesn't matter. And again, I made the video somewhere here at 0.0037 just before this ascending triangle breakout and trend continuation. And from there to current price is up 540% or 6 X in a couple of days because actually the trend just continued. As you all know, I'm a big fan of trend is your friend until the end when it bends. Actually, it should be bend there for it to rhyme, but I can't fix the English language. And this one is so new, so this one isn't on trading view yet as far as I know. This project here is another project. It probably pumped a bit because some people bought the wrong project. But you don't need any tools to see that this one is an uptrend. Large Online isn't just an indicator. It's a process, a methodology to both deal with crazy appreciations, the small chance for huge success that's always the case with tech, and finding a toolkit to manage emotions in a mathematically sound way. So if you're complaining now and you're actually up 500% in less than a week, I think you should consider the course. But understand what happened. Some people didn't watch the video, they didn't watch our Discord, they didn't have notifications on my Twitter, so they found the video like a couple of days later. Perhaps they bought here instead, thinking that only fundamentals matters, technical analysis and timing doesn't matter. Then they sit here yesterday and watch a 90% drop. And then they never heard about cutting your losers early, so they hold all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and here here, when it's already gone minus 90% they panic and sell, thinking better save the last 10% that's left. What happens then? Well, some other people were apparently buying because price went straight back up plus 320% in 12 hours. With education that was a preventable mistake and timing in the market matters. With something like Bitcoin. There is an advantage to slow down. For example, I only analyze the daily close. What happens within the day doesn't even matter. But Bitcoin has been around for 15 years, thinking that time doesn't matter for a meme coin that's gone up a million percent in a month. It's not the right thing to do. Let me tell you a story about the time that I realized that. It was back in 2017 and I had just discovered a project. I still remember it. I sat there at breakfast, reading Twitter and I found a project and I read a little bit about it and I thought oh this is interesting I never seen this one before this is super interesting I pulled up my laptop I checked the chart and the chart looked great there was a bullish pattern it hadn't broken out yet and I thought this looks great I'm gonna go shower brush my teeth then I will sit down focus and I'm gonna buy this one I was so excited I was shampooing the little hair I have left brushing my teeth and so excited going back to sit down to buy this one. And of course, 
price had completely changed. The pattern had broken out and I think it had gone like 50 or 100 percent in those 15 minutes where I was taking a shower and the opportunity was gone. I missed it. And that was the time that I made a rule for myself that if I discover something and I decide that I'm going to buy it, I have to do it immediately if it is practically possible. Of course, now I have a very stringent security setup. So if I'm outside, I can't do it. But if I have access to my device, I always act immediately. Even if I'm doing something else, I stop that, I pause the call, I pause the recording, whatever it is I'm doing, I'm doing the trade and I come back. It's a rule for myself. Perhaps you can find it useful too. I can't predict the future. I have no idea what this one is going to do in the future. I'm just an outside observer, just like you. I don't know anything else than you do. I can't tell you if you should buy or sell or do anything. You have to take those decisions yourself. I can do technical analysis and I can share technical insights that I've had that might not be so obvious but that are all based on public information that everyone can go and verify for themselves or disagree with for the matter or tell me I'm wrong if I misunderstood something. But I've literally built the process and the toolkit to manage situations like this. So if you don't follow it I'm probably the wrong person to complain to. Now that I'm a Solana Maxi joke Let's look at the Solana chart. As you recall, we identified this excellent entry around 20s, then price shot up, and now we've had this construction. Can you say what it is? What's the name of this chart pattern? Any takers? That's a flag. A flag after a big move up is a bullish pattern. So this one I think looks great. Large line is still gold. This one is still in uptrend. And if you look at the Solana to BTC chart, we see something else interesting. Many times you see clearer patterns if you somehow eliminate the USD component. So in this case, we're looking at Solana versus BTC. And look at how clean these lines become. Sol BTC went into this range. Should this one break on the upside? What chart pattern is that? That's a double bottom, but only if it confirms. And if it does, that would put the target pretty much at all time high. Large line is gold on both the BTC and the USD chart as you saw before. Ah, I forgot to say that actually on this one. Here we were looking at the USD chart. And if we eliminate the USD component of this chart, in this case that would be then Bozo to Sol. By the way, now BirdEye seems to have fixed that warning. Here that ascending triangle breakout instead becomes an even clearer range breakout. See how well defined this range becomes here when instead of looking at the USD chart, look at the main trading pair, which in this case then was this Bozo versus Sol. Extremely good risk reward to enter at breakout from a range and very limited downside because you can put the stop loss just below the range high, meaning the breakout level. So you risk very little on the downside. And in this case, that strategy would have worked excellent. When I analyze charts, I often do a combination of usually the BTC chart. Here then it was the chart versus Sol and the USD chart. Just like I just showed you here for Solana, the USD chart, the BTC chart, they both tell a language. And if you then combine that into a total picture, that's often very powerful. Rune, another project that a lot of people are interested in. Adam and Eve pattern, breakout, large line gold. Now that one has flipped blue to a plus 231% trade over 3x, risking nothing on the downside because this one never went into loss, irrespective if you front ran the flip here or entered on the gold flip. Here's the USD chart, similar picture on the BTC chart. Depending on how we draw this, perhaps the parabola broke a little bit earlier, giving a slightly higher exit before the blue flip confirmation. But doesn't really matter, fantastic outcome. I'm in no means sure that this is over, on the contrary. This is also a flag, same like on the Sol chart, it's just gone deeper. And if you look at the BTC chart, the question now is if this will form new support here. Perhaps build another base, perhaps even build a new inverse head and shoulders here. Maybe left shoulder, head, could this one build a right shoulder here and confirm the breakout? sustain it, then the trend will turn up again. Perhaps we get another opportunity on this amazing project. But if it doesn't, if this correction becomes much deeper, maybe the narrative goes back to BTC or whatever. What if this one goes
goes all the way back here. Then I can tell exactly what most people will do. They will do nothing here in the beginning. They will hold it all the way down. And then when it maybe is the new bottom, then they will panic and sell. So going back to this week down here last night. So imagine someone spent $15 on this project at the time of the mint. The price of one pizza in the western world. One month later those 15 bucks have become 1 million dollars. Do you think there is no one who is going to take a little bit profit at least at that point? I think there is. This doesn't look like a rug pull or anything to me. If you can find any more rug pulls that rug pull on the upside like this or like this. I'll settle for even half a million percent. Just half or even just 600 percent or 7x even that. I'll settle for because price has actually gone up substantially while I've been recording this video. And it's not live, there is no one here knowing what I do, unless you have bugged my office. So have a plan, panic less, only panic when it's actually time to panic. I think the missing component for most people is education and tools. I think a lot of people who panicked now or didn't have a plan would have gotten exactly what they needed in my course. This is a one-off payment, no recurring fees. Many people in our discord made 10 times this lifetime fee on this one trade alone. And if you have taken the course I do recommend to explore the pro offering and if you get it within the window you lock in the 50% off for life. Don't get scammed, I have only one website, cityolarson.com. This bozo engagement has been an enormous success. I spotted it, I made the video and the trend continued. I already made the congrats video, now I'm consolidating some learnings. It's been an enormous success right at this moment. But what to do from here, I cannot tell you. You have to decide that for yourself. The only thing I'm recommending you to do, advising you to do, do is to invest in yourself, in education, tools, processes, methodologies, network of like-minded people. I'm proud of my course, the tool set and the value that we've been able to bring to so many people over so many years. And if you hate me, take someone else's course then. But you got to educate yourself somehow. And if you're against education in general, I think you're just plain wrong. Because I think it's education and tools that stand between most people and great success in these markets. Because honestly, these markets are almost too easy. So don't waste the opportunity. That would be my recommendation. Thank you, Tak. See you, Larson out.